Hi guys, welcome to our video 1.7, Lewis dot structures. We're going to have to know how to draw these. And Lewis dot structures tell us where the electrons are, specifically the valence electrons only. Okay, so remember, the only electrons that take place in chemical reactions are the valence electrons. The inner electrons, also known as the kernel, aren't important for chemical reactions. So, when we're going to draw a Lewis dot structure, step one is you write the symbol for the element. Step two, you figure out how many valence electrons there are. The first two go above the symbol, and then we add the rest, spacing them out. Okay? Very simple. So we're going to do neon. So step one, write the symbol. I see neon has eight valence electrons. So I need eight. The first two go above the symbol. One, two. Then I've got to space the rest out as best I can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So since neon is a noble gas and it has eight valence electrons, it ends up with all eight being full. Let's say I was going to do carbon, right? Carbon has two, four. So carbon has four valence electrons. Write the symbol. First two go above. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, the next thing we have to think about for Lewis dot structures are ions. Once again, shows the arrangement of the valence electrons only. So, step one, write the symbol. Step two, fill the first two above the symbol. Step three, add the rest spacing them out. Then we have to say, oh, if it's an ion, we have to add brackets and a charge. So, let's do sodium. First, I'll do a sodium atom. Right? So, sodium is going to have one valence electron. So, above just like that. However, when sodium becomes a sodium ion, it's giving up an electron, so it's going to become N, A. And since it gave this electron up, now we say that that outer shell is empty, sort of. We add brackets and a charge of plus one, because it gave up one electron. All right, so chlorine. Let's do that. Chlorine has... Seven, so we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It has seven valence electrons. When it becomes a chloride ion, it gains an electron. So now Cl, and it's going to gain that one right here. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that it's gained, but now it's negatively charged. It's an ion, so we put brackets and a negative one. All right, so molecules. Step one, write the symbol. Step two, fill in the first two above the symbol. Add the rest, spacing them out. If it's ionic, we'll add brackets and a charge. So like for sodium chloride, right? we have Na, and like we did before, we get Na+. Plus. Cl, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight brackets, sorry about my terrible brackets, minus 1 or minus, okay? So if it's ionic, for an ionic molecule, it's going to be Na plus with a Cl minus. Now, when we do a covalently bonded molecule, and that just means shared electrons, we'll get more into that later. We're going to do Lewis dot structures again when we do bonding. But covalently, we can actually put a line between them. We won't have brackets. So let's say we're going to do water, good old H2O. So here we have an oxygen. Oxygen has six valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each hydrogen has one. So here's the hydrogen with one. Here's the other hydrogen with one. 
Okay, so these electrons here are being shared between the oxygen and the hydrogen, as are these. The other thing we can do is here replace these covalently bonded electrons with a line. So I can say O H H, but then I have to draw these other pairs back in. All right, question time. So I'm going to draw Lewis dot structures for the following atoms, okay? Not ions. All right, so remember, go back, follow the steps. You got the symbols here, but you might want to draw it, well, you're going to draw it on your paper, so give yourself some room. Fill in the first two, and then space the others out. And there's a little follow-up question at the end. All right, I'll see you guys in school.